Hello Capricorn, welcome into your reading for August 27th and 28th, 2022 for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is the weekend reading. We're going to see what messages that spirit has in store for you at this time, Capricorn. Don't forget to smash that like button and of course leave a comment down below. I love and appreciate you guys so much. Let's see what spirit has for you, Capricorn. Thank you, spirit. Nothing is yet set in stone. Oh my God, Capricorn, you saw me shuffling this deck. These are the same two cards that came out for Virgo. Okay, step outside of your comfort zone and nothing is yet set in stone. So I guess the message here this weekend is stepping outside of one's comfort zone. And a lot of this stepping outside of the comfort zone here, Capricorn, is doing something you've never done before. All right. Being with a person, going to a job, going to a place, moving, whatever it is that you have not yet done or experienced before. Your commitment is being tested and it's the commitment to what you want. It's the commitment to what you believe in. It's the commitment to your manifestation manifestation into your dreams and it's like what is it that is going to get you to there going to get you there what is what is actually getting you to step out of your comfort zone capricorn so we have all tied up happy family and attachment wow this for some of you, Capricorn, so we have 23, which breaks down to a five, and attachment is number five, and then we have happy family. So this is a true energy of breaking free from like familial attachments. This could be even like a divorce or a breakup. Somebody could be leaving, you know, a family behind, leaving some sort of a tie. Um, this is stepping outside of what you are used to on a day-to-day. Capricorn. Hold on. One okay. Second. So there could be communication that's actually going to be coming through for you, Capricorn, because the phone has actually interrupted me three times and I had to restart your reading. So we're going to just stitch this one together. Um, Capricorn, there could definitely be some communication coming through of somebody releasing ties or attachments. This has a lot to do with family. This has a lot to do with uh you know rooted belief systems as well um and i feel like this is you stepping away from again what you were used to and this commitment is being tested it's commitment to what you want commitment to your manifestations to your dreams here capricorn okay so just kind of take that as it resonates um it's not going to be that for everybody but you know divorce or anything like that or breaking up of your home but it, it will be you feeling free of restrictive energy right restrictive energy that's been around you for a very long time tell us about nothing yet being set in stone for capricorn door to romance yeah because i feel like there could be an option or a choice that's coming in here for you we do have the fourth shocker archangel Raphael here at the bottom of the deck which capricorn this could definitely be someone new or someone that sh you know very unexpected is coming in here for you yeah someone that is really coming out of hiding someone that's been in hiding for a very long time and you know this person may spark your interest this person may actually be the one that you're supposed to be with i feel like this person could be coming forward and communicating something with you and you just really have to be open to whatever this energy or information is or who this person is okay as well so let's take a look at stepping outside of your comfort zone here capricorn so this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter spirit, and they're stepping outside of their comfort zone here. So tell us what we need, or show us what we need to see, please. Show us what we need to see. Okay. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, Five of Cups. This is a lot like uh, nurturing, loving, mother type energy. This could even have been like the wife or the mother of somebody's children. Um, this could be a partner. Um, this is even like your own mother energy coming through and, you know, having to release or let go of certain things, you know, that has to deal with, with you and this person. Now, on the other side, you don't see that there will be the opportunity or the chance to rebuild this connection. Um, but I feel like there needs to be, something needs to be communicated. Something needs to be released or let go of, right? 
in order for this connection to actually move into the next next phase or to the next level yeah and we have the emperor this could definitely be a lot of restrictive energy this could truly be a relationship that someone has to let go of here capricorn And this could even be a job, right, that some someone has to let go of, right? Maybe there is a job that you're tied to and you're like, you know, I really love this job. I really love maybe the this, that, the third, but it's it's causing, it's it's very constricting, right? It's very constricting and it's not fulfilling in the manner that you need it to be. Show us more here for Capricorn, please. Yeah, the tower, see? There's an ending coming here for, for some, some of you Capricorn, right? Whoever is actually stepping outside of their comfort zone, they're, they're doing this because this is what they want, right? This could even be someone not listening to their mother, right? I'm not going to listen to what she has to say. I'm going to do what's best for me. I'm going to do what, what makes me happy, Someone's following their heart. Someone's listening to what their actual truth is. And they're stepping out of their comfort zone. The garden and the gate is feeling stuck. They're stepping out of this. And they're following what they're truly passionate about because you got the second chakra, Archangel Ariel with man holding a coin and the sun and cornucopia. So there is someone here that wants to take a chance, take a leap of faith with you. And maybe there are people in their lives that they consistently listen to Capricorn. And this doesn't have to be you. This could be the person that you're involved with. And they're like, you know what? I'm not going to freaking listen to you anymore. I'm not going to let this keep me from having my dreams, my desires, right? Because you are a part of their dreams or desires. And a lot of this established energy, this this queen of pentacles, this could have a lot to do with, you know, their own belief systems, right? It doesn't actually have to be a person. It could just be things that maybe they were taught as a child or, you know, things that their, their mother used to say or their grandmother used to say or whatever. Yeah, three of cups and the moon. This could even be a third party situation that this person has been hiding and not not really talking about, but they're finally letting this person go, Capricorn. You know, they're they're getting this person out of their life. This could be, like I said, the mother of their children, you know, someone that they shared emotion with. This could have been a live-in partner, especially with the Emperor being here and the Queen of Pentacles um, and the Tower. This could, you know, somebody be being get, getting kicked out. Um, there, there definitely is a lot that's been hidden or a lot that's surrounding the situation. It could be third party. With the Chariot, the Ace of Cups, and the Five of Wands, I feel like this person is very giddy uh, to kind of get this going, right? I feel like this person is very giddy to kind of get things going, which is why nothing is yet set in stone because I feel like there is a process here, Capricorn, that has to, that has to kind of go on. All right. I do see this person being very passionate about you. Yeah, they, they, they see this as being a very successful connection. Tell us about tell us about this Queen of Pentacles. Okay. They're telling me to switch the deck. As I ask about who this Queen of Pentacles is. Who is this Queen of Pentacles spirit for Capricorn? Sun Moon Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Who is this Queen of Pentacles for Capricorn? Four of Pentacles. So definitely someone close to them. Someone that they shared a home with, the moon. Someone that they shared emotions with, queen of cups. So again, this could be their mom, this could be their grandmother, this could be the, the mother of their children, a wife, a partner that they had. Um, and I just see that this, this person was also very closed off. Like this person wasn't very emotionally loving to whoever this emperor is. Okay. Because I, I do feel like this emperor 
is the person who's actually experiencing this change capricorn so if you're resonating with this then i would see you as this emperor um if not then i see you as a person that's you know like viewing the story and whoever this queen of pentacles is they were very closed off emotionally to this to this emperor you know they weren't very open to communicating or being very loving or anything like that like they were very standoffish to this person and you know that that's not who this person is who this emperor is this, this emperor is looking for someone to express their love express their feelings express their emotions and this person was not was not doing that i feel like this person could have also been a gold digger because we have the four of pentacles here i feel like this person was very much concerned about their own wealth their well-being and their finances so whoever this whoever this is that you are connecting to here capricorn they were dealing with someone who was more concerned about financial stability finances money um they themselves you know could have been a capricorn and for some reason i don't feel like this person um is you and if this is you capricorn i feel like you're actually leaving a situation um pulling yourself out of a situation that you you really weren't um getting any emotion from right and it, it you're kind of just like okay this is this is not where i want to be right but i feel like this is from another person's perspective and who they're dealing with and this person here again just very hyper focused on finances and really making sure that they're taking care of by taking advantage of another person here emotionally because this emperor here was wanting love and emotion and care but that wasn't really the case in this relationship with this other person here and what they're walking away from this happy family energy wow all right let's take a look a little deeper now we've got the lovers here at the bottom of the deck capricorn we're going to take a look here to see what messages want to come through since seems like it's a love reading here Tell us about Capricorn, August 27th and 28th. So we have separation. Unspoken truth. Yeah, so definitely communication coming forward. You and this person could have been separated from each other um, for, for whatever reason. Um, and it could have had a lot to do with this third party situation. Frustration along with love letters so i do see communication coming forward i feel like this person has been very frustrated with the way things have been going capricorn and i feel like a lot of this is having to do with again the third party situation let's get one more okay mm -hmm. so we have marriage so this person could have been married uh to this third party situation not necessarily um but i do feel like this person is looking to come together in marriage with you capricorn they have a lot they want to say they've been very frustrated and very sad um about not being able to be with you they do feel like y'all share a very sacred connection with each other and they don't want to lose out on an opportunity with you um it, you know for some reason they already feel like they are losing you but i don't necessarily feel like this is the case so actually, let's take a look at this um, door to romance. Tell us about door to romance here for Capricorn. So we have someone coming in very passionate, very determined, like King of Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, could also be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. This person is looking to offer you love, Capricorn, two of cups. They're looking to come forward with some sort of loving opportunity. There is emotion there. There's emotion. So even though this person is coming forward very passionately, very sexy, very like, yes, in charge, um, I feel like they're doing this because they're actually taking control of the situation yeah ace of wands this person is taking control of the situation and there there's a very passionate new beginning that's coming into your life i would also just be leery of people who are looking to kind of like boom boom bang bang but we do have the knight of cups okay so this person could be trying to offer you out on a date ace of pentacles page of wands wow okay so i see capricorn someone that is a truly 
looking to expand. They're looking to expand into something more. This person is just determined. Okay, so this person has really good intentions here. They are definitely looking to expand this connection into something more. I do feel like that you, like I said, you are that marriage material person that they're looking to spend time with. I feel like a lot of their frustration is coming from this past person in this past situation because they have a tangible opportunity, Ace of Pentacles, that they want to offer to you. And this is the communication that I was saying, Page of Wands. You know, this person is probably going to be communicating through, you know, text or, you know, through DM. I do feel like this person probably has your number. If not, they might ask for your number again. Um, this person is wanting to offer something very solid, very tangible, and something that is uh, just... Uh, how can I put this? It's gonna it's gonna blow your socks off. I do feel like this person is in their head a little bit, and I feel like they're just worried or concerned more about what you're gonna say than anything else. You know what your response is gonna be. We do have judgment here. Yeah, I feel like this person is just wanting to make sure that everything kind of goes the way that it needs to. We do have death and rebirth. This, yeah, I, this person has done a lot of transformation. A lot of transformation. Nine of Pentacles, yeah. I feel like they're just in their head about the situation because they have done a lot of transformation. They have become this uh, evolved energy. Um, I feel like they're just in their head a little bit because you may not have known them since this change. King of Cups coming in, Queen of Swords, Two of Swords, Four of Wands. I feel like this person wants you to be open to what they have to say about this next situation. Yeah, this is something that this person has been dreaming about. They dream about you, Capricorn. Tell us about Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles for Capricorn. Tell us about Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles for Capricorn for the weekend. Well, hot damn. So you have the Empress. We're looking at the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. You have the Hermit, the Eight of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. This person is coming forward to offer you something here tangible. Okay, this person wants love. They want emotion. This person is looking to create something. Okay, create something with you. You are the Empress to their Emperor energy, and this person is wanting to come forward. They're literally coming out of hiding. This person is literally coming out of hiding. So whoever this person is, they were in hiding, Capricorn, and they're coming out of it. They are literally coming out of hiding. I love this. I love this. This person is coming forward very balanced. This is also the angel, um, divine guidance angel. They've been divinely guided to you. <laughs> wow. Capricorn, let's get a closing message here. This is freaking intense. Let's get a closing message for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the weekend of August 27th to the 28th. Your love life is being affected by children. You guys could have known each other from childhood and forgiving and learning. Yeah. As you release and heal your past, you experience more love in your present moments with honeymoon. This could be literally somebody from your childhood coming back to tell you that they are in love with you and they want to be with you and they've been watching you. <laughs> wow. I'm going to leave this here, Capricorn. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I will speak to you very, very soon.